angelic love that surrounds us all over and we are here today to celebrate this solar eclipse and new moon in Aries of 2023 in April. My name is Christy Ramirez. I am a health and wellness expert and Reiki master healer. And welcome to our spirituality retreat. Today we are here gathered to again talk about the energies, which is where I start with the spiritual talk. And then we also do a healing sample session sound bath that is going to help us to cleanse our aura, get rid of any residue, and help us to refresh, especially because of the solar eclipse, which I want to begin by talking today. And we have a little bit of some bonfire ocean sounds in our background, envisioning where you want to be and making it happen, whether it's in your mind or in the physical realm. But this is a reminder that you don't need to experience anything per se in the physical realm in order for you to have the experience, especially spiritually. And that's something that we learn on the spiritual journey when mastering our spiritual gifts, our ability to teleport wherever you want in your with your soul, your astral traveling wherever you want, you can telepathically communicate with any soul, whether living or not, with our spirit guides, with heaven, with God, our angels. And I am being called to tell you that our angels are present here today, specifically Archangel Metatron, actually because of this purple mandala that I was being guided to put on top. I have other colors here. I have like a magenta, I have a blue, slash green teal and a yellow with blue and I was guided to bring in the purple violet light out in the front today because this is a lot of where also the healing vibes come in from Archangel Metatron he illuminates us with a lot of wisdom divine knowledge and it's this um this it's this um what is it called this this cube of light that contains light codes from the cosmos so it's very high frequency and we are being guided today to sit i definitely did bring a different environment it's been a while since i've done our retreats out in this space in particular but it's very different for me and i sometimes feel like it can be more powerful as well because even my instruments sound more potent here in this space because of the more airy space and also our sound bowl is more steady as well versus where I usually do it in a day bed where it's a little bit more unstable so the sound is not as potent here it's very steady it's very clear and it's very powerful with little effort and I feel like that is a metaphor as well for where we're at right now with this new one in Aries Again, it's like a double new beginning because to bring a little bit of astrology fact, this is actually the second new moon in Aries that we are having back to back in the same year. And this is very rare. It's definitely an anomaly. It's not a common thing. And actually it's supposed to be the new moon in Taurus, right? But although we're still in Aries season, um, actually no, we're in Taurus season already because my birthday is next weekend actually. And so, this is interesting that we're having two new moons in Aries back to back with a full moon in between. And on top of that, we have the solar eclipse. And on top of that, a little bit more astrological facts is that there are a lot of planets going retrograde. We already have Mercury retrograde. It, was, it took place like within the same time frame of this new moon. And then within the next week, on May 1st, which is actually also my birthday, we have Pluto going retrograde, which is the smallest planet in the solar system. It is the farthest planet away as well, so it is our shadows, it represents the hidden as well. And being that it's going retrograde, it's asking us to go back, I feel like even to the past, because I've been getting this a lot, going back in retrospect about our life in general, so it's a big life review right now, so that with this new beginning, we don't mess it up, basically, and do things the right way. 
because chances are that if you're not living your happy dream right now, everything is not perfect, is chances are something's gone wrong along the way. And yes, it's part of destiny, but only because you haven't yet learned the lesson, right? Destiny always plays out, but there is such a thing as repetitive karma. Repeating lessons if you don't learn them the first time or the second time or the third time. And another fact is that we all humans spiritually go through seven year cycles. So whatever cycle you're in is very individual and where you're at on your year cycle as well is also individual. But this is um, definitely for you to make changes so that the next seven year cycle, whenever that's your time, you don't bring in these past patterns that are sabotaging your happy future and the happy life that you want, which is of course a dream come true. So there are a lot of blockages or delays that again, Pluto is bringing up to the surface for us to reevaluate, for us to really be honest with ourselves about what we want and how to get it. And also, you know, chances are a lot of you are more in the mature level. So if you've already been on the spiritual journey for a while, or if not, but you've been working on your certain crafts, which is your divine mission and purpose on this planet, in this life, then chances are you're a very advanced individual. And so the lessons that you're learning right now are very advanced according to where you're at. So it's not gonna be like before. They're gonna be a little bit more tricky, a little bit more advanced, challenging, but we definitely can overcome them. Thank you.